Hello, and welcome to Mr. E's Watch Reviews. Today, we're going to be going over the San Martin SN058G. This is the 40 millimeter. Uh, this has got the PT5000 in it. I've been wearing a watch all week at work. It has actually been holding up quite well. You're looking at it through the magnifying lens there. But this thing is just absolutely gorgeous. It's very comfortable. And look, I'm not a fan of the Jubilee. I like it's just really not my thing. But I really like it. It has held up extremely well. Like you, I don't see any scratches or anything on it. Like I mean, even looking at it through the magnifying glass here. Uh, this has held up a lot better than most of my other watches when I wear them to work. Uh, I really like this thing. Um, it's actually kind of becoming one of my new favorites because I get more compliments on this watch <clears throat> than I do on any of my other ones or have on any of my other ones. I mean, I get compliments on the other ones, but this one, just because it is how it plays in the light and everything like that, it just sparkles, sparkles. You know, I mean, like even I was cooking dinner the other night, and I was like, damn. Because basically, I have a mirror, mirror tint on all the windows in my house. So as I was cooking dinner, I was right in front of the sink where there's a window, and I was doing something, and the way the light was just hitting the, the, the bracelet and everything like that, it was just popping. But let's see. Let's go ahead and get out the micrometer. Let's see. Uh, hang on a second. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to do this not or through the camera lens, through to this, through to that. Make sure I got everything to where you can see it. 47.2. Let's see. 11.4, nice and thin. 12.6 at the Cyclops. Damn it. Now, see, they say this is a 40, but I got 39 or 38.8. Let me, let, me, let me do that again. All right, now that 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 time I measured in at like thirty nine point one, so that's more of a thirty nine millimeter. That's not forty. They they say this is a forty, but it's not. I don't know. Maybe the case is. And we'll measure the case from the back side. Uh, it's still coming in thirty nine. Uh, it's thirty nine point seven three. Uh, sorry, it's it. The damn thing's a little rounded, so it's hard to get to the right spot. It's still coming in like 39 and a half. I guess maybe the case is 40, but we're just under. Here, let's slip it on the wrist. Of course, I'm still wearing my custom logo one that I got last night. Yeah, man. Yeah, see, just so y'all can get a quick glimpse, but I got this clasp bullshit corrected. I worked on that shit last night. I squeezed and pulled and banged and got it all fixed up. That shouldn't have been popped out, though. I see I'm still having issues with this damn glide lock. And that part's being funky. But the Chinese are on a uh, holiday or whatever for the next three days, so I gotta wait to hear back from them. All right, so this on. Yes. Now, this definitely is fitting very nice. You guys can see what I'm talking about with the way the light just pops off of it. And reflects all around it. I really like this watch. I mean, I'm really digging this thing. Um... 
the accuracy has been pretty good. Uh, we'll throw it on the time grapher here in just a minute. And we'll get a loom shot here in just a second. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm just so impressed with this thing. Because I've got another one that's basically got the same dial in it. That's a different brand that I can't show y'all. Uh, but it's on an oyster bracelet. And, you know, its clasp is nowhere near as good as this one. Now, to be perfectly honest... I like this clasp even better than the actual Rolex because this is one of the watches I was trying on when I went to the AD and uh, yeah, uh, I, I like this one right here much better. Like it just, this feels much more secure uh, because you know what I'm saying? Uh, on like the one I tried on at the AD, uh, it just had the little lift like spring mechanism and I don't remember it having a fold over. So, you know, when, when I'm wearing something that's that expensive, I want to make sure it's on and cannot just come off for any stupid reason. So I really like this one. Now I got this for $283 on sale. Uh, I currently just went and looked on AliExpress. Uh, they've got it on there for, I think it's like 302 with the PT 5000 and like 441. Uh, uh, damn it. Yeah. 441 with the, um, SW 200. Um, you know, I understand why people are reluctant with the SW 200. Or not SW200, but the PT5000 and want to go with the SW200. And honestly, I can't fault y'all for that. And my only thing is that, you know, and I'm not saying San Martin does this or anybody does it. But, like, unless you're an absolute watch expert and you really can tell the difference, like, if you pop the back off, um, you know, they may be slipping to, you know, because the two things are supposed to be identical or clones or whatever. Uh, and I understand that, you know, when they clone something, they just kind of make it look similar and perform kind of close. Um, anyway, what, what my point is, is that like, if you just buy one and you don't know the difference between the two and you don't know what you're looking at, you know, to me, I would think that you'd be able to be able to slip in, be able to slip in the PT five thousand on you, and not know, and then you paid extra. But you know, I, I don't know that that's just me. You know what I'm saying? Um, and you know, China people, please don't get mad at me because you know I'm just stating the obvious because y'all always writing the Swiss on shit that ain't Swiss. Do you know what I'm saying? And putting you know. You guys get what I mean. You know what I mean? Like, how do you trust the counterfeiters for not making counterfeit shit when they tell you that this one, no, 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 this one is real. This one is a real one, you know? So you guys hear what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't know. Um, and I'm not saying that San Martin's making counterfeit watches or anything like that. I'm just saying all this stuff is getting produced over there and whatnot. And they only have but so many factories that do this kind of, kind of work. Um, so you guys get what I'm saying. Uh, I don't know. It just, to, to me, I'd rather, you know, do the PT 5000, have the good accuracy and high beat and all that good stuff. And, uh, you know, not have to worry about whether I overspent. But from what I understand, they've got good uh, PT 5000s and they got some junk ones too. So... I unfortunately have not had too many issues or any issues really with any of these so far. I'll throw that on there. I guess I can move that out of the way. Oh, damn it. Oh, hell on. That's not right. Uh, 
Now, I will say this thing has been sitting in the case all night. So it may be a little wound down. I probably should wind it up actually. Yeah, let me just let me just wind it up. Actually I gotta change the date anyways for today is the first. Now the winding mechanism, so y'all can hear. Sounds and feels excellent. It's very, very quiet. Now the one thing I will say about this, and again, because it's a dress watch and it doesn't have any crown guards, that crown is tiny. And even for me, it's hard to grip. And with no fingernails, it's hard to pull out. And then you remember my rule, we gotta give it a second, let it do at least a full sweep. This one's just a little bit more off than several of my other PT5000s. And see, what's so crazy is that when I, I actually threw this on a time wrapper yesterday, and I want to say it was running right around six or eight seconds off. But again, that's after me wearing it all day. And I'm pretty sure most people will tell you, uh, like, when they do the regulations and stuff, they keep the thing on the winder. So it's like it's being worn all day. Then they'll take it off the winder and then, you know, check it in a certain position. Uh, that way it's simulated more accurately for, like, real-life wear. Let's see. Let's turn it up on its side. Like, if I was standing there with my hands in my pockets. I'm going to say about the same range, about minus 13 to minus 16. Oh, minus 19. And the beat error is not too bad on this. And see, and I, this is just also to throw this out there, you know, SW200, I would hope, would be a little closer to regulation spec or cost spec, but they're not regulating any of these. So, whether you get the SW200 or the PT5000, you're still, you know, you're still going to have a regulation, you know, Basically, the watch has to be put on a time wrapper and adjusted. So, yeah, this one uh, was like plus mid or minus mid 20s, minus 17 or so. So, not the greatest on this one. Again, like I said, I, I've been wearing this all week. I haven't had any problem with it losing or not keeping the correct time. So I'm not sure what the deal is, you know, but I'm sure it could be just regulated and smoothed out. But ultimately this watch is gorgeous. I, I do like this dial. The dial does look different in pictures than it does in person because the pictures that I saw online, it, this was like a real bright, deep, dark blue. This is more like a slate blue, but I still like it. Still sharp, sexy. So, if you happen to go to San Martin, uh, I don't have anything set up with them just yet. 
to where I get any kind of commission or kickback or anything like that if y'all buy one. Uh, but message them before you pay for anything and tell them that you're a viewer of mine. Uh, they may give you a discount. So even if I don't get anything kicked back, at least if y'all can get something off on the watch, that would be awesome. Because if y'all can get it for around the 280 price that I got for it, got it for, I would definitely suggest it. It's definitely, I mean, this is a banger. Um, now a couple of y'all asked, do they have a smaller version? They do. They have the SN058 or 058 GX. That is in a 36 and a half millimeter and comes in a wide variety of colors and uh, variations. Um, you know, uh, to me, th this one fits my wrist quite nice, but I do have a 37 millimeter watch now. And I got to be honest, I, I kind of like that 37 millimeter size a little bit better. Um, and it's funny because the lady at the jewelry store, because I was, you know, I was telling her, I was like, oh, I, I like 40 millimeter, you know, 40 millimeters are, you know, the size for me. And she was like, that's just because you started with that. She was like, if you had started with the 36 millimeter, like they all were made back in the day, she was like, you would think that the 40 is huge. Uh, I was like, nah, yeah, yeah. but I kind of see what she's saying because, you know, like I'm not into the Invictus that are over anything 41, 40, 41 millimeter. The rest of them are just way too big in my opinion. Um, but had I started with all those, you know, I mean, I've seen a couple of them that I thought looked cool. Just I thought would look stupid on my wrist because my wrist is so small, but oh yeah, shit, we need to do a loom shot. All right, hang on a second, pause. And as you can see, the loom is just, I mean, it's spectacular. Now, one thing I will say, this does not seem to last as long as like my Submariners and all that kind of stuff, uh, or the aviation watches I got from them. I believe it's because the you know, the little loom indicators and stuff like that, the little indices uh, are smaller. You know what I'm saying? You can just, you, I mean, you can only put but so much on there. Like, this stays nice and bright for a good long while, but it does not last all night. Like, I can't wake up in the morning first thing and barely still see it. Like, I can with the, the GMTs and the Pilots watches that I have. Um, uh, from them that just have bigger indices so therefore you're able to put more on it and i guess it just lasts longer um but yeah i mean this stuff you know this bgw9 nice and bright it lasts very long time i mean i can easily see this watch well over two three hours you know solid in the dark um but the other ones you know I seem to be able to get five or six hours, you know, being able to barely see it when I wake up in the morning. Uh, but whenever I'm wearing this one, it just, yeah. So, you know, that is what it is, but it's a dress watch. It's not, you know, a super sneaky spy watch or nothing. I mean, so it is what it is. So uh, basically, uh, before we go any further, I want y'all to like subscribe, more subscribe than anything. Um, and just so we're clear, uh, I paid for this fucking watch. I bought it on sale. I did not get any other discount other than just the sale that they were offering to every other friggin' person out there. Uh, I am not trying to sell you this watch. I am telling you what I think of the watch, but at the same time, I, have ju it just dawned on me and I just, you know, realized, Hey, a lot of people are buying stuff because of me and, they have a program that I can get paid for that. And the only reason why I'm doing it is because that just gives me more money to be able to buy more stuff to be able to show y'all and create more awesome content. Uh, you know, so that way I'm just not constantly just digging in my pocket, you know, not only that, but maybe, maybe this way I can, you know, recoup some of the money I've spent 
considering since I started the channel, I've done spent $2,000 in watches. Uh, just so I can have multiple things to show y'all, you know, now granted, I, I understand I could have bought like a $2,000 watch, like a single watch or 5,000 or $10,000 watch, but then I get one review out of it. Yeah. Y'all see the math here, right? You know, it's much better to get 10 watches for your $2,000 and have lots of cool, awesome things to show y'all and talk about versus one watch. Yeah. And not that I don't want the one watches and them $5,000 ones to talk about and all that kind of stuff, but we got a little, little ways to go. You know what I'm saying? I, I you know, I need to at least get to the first thousand subscriber mark. Uh, but at any rate, um, what else do I need to talk about real fast? Uh, do, do, do. We did the loom, we did measurements, talked about that. Oh, um, as far as watch giveaways go, um, I haven't decided what I'm going to give the next one away just yet. I think I'm either going to do it at 500 subscribers or maybe wait to the thousand, but I don't feel like that's fair to all you guys that are jumping in early. I feel like y'all should be rewarded. And I kind of want to go ahead and give y'all one now because we just passed the 300 mark. Um, so I, I don't know. I'll, I'll think about it. I, you know, hell y'all just might, you know, wake up one morning and find out y'all just want to freaking watch out of just nowhere. Uh, you know, so how do you win a watch with me? Uh, you got to be subscribed and you need to leave comments. Yeah, that's it. Subscribe and leave comments. And that's it. It's that easy because I'm going to pick it. The, the computer's not going to randomly do it. I'm just going to basically scroll through every comment that was ever made on every video ever and randomly push the button up and down, up and down with my eyes closed. And then when I stop, that's who wins. Just like we did. Like if you guys just want to check it out, you can see how I did it when Scatterbrain won a watch. Uh, my other two watch winners, I just, you know, there are people I like and I just wanted to give them a fucking watch. So that's what I did. Uh, at any rate, um, you know, I, I try to be kind of fair about it and everything. Like if I'm scrolling and I happen to land on like my reply to you, you still win because that's basically that conversation. Like you, you know what I'm saying? Obviously I can't win the watch. You know, I'm trying to give the damn thing away. So if that were to happen, that's what I would do. Um, and like, this isn't going to be the whole rules and everything because the rules are simple. Fucking subscribe, leave comments and it ain't got to be all good comments either, or kissing my ass comments. It's just, you know, be honest, leave your thoughts, you know, tell me what you think. Um, is I'm not really for anybody who's a kiss ass. Uh, I'd rather you just be honest and straight up, you know, be a man with me. You know what I mean? Just, you know. Ain't no need to bullshit me or, you know, fluff my ego. I'm not, that's not what I'm here for. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm here to talk watches and hang out with people that like the same kind of shit that I like. So, you know, simple enough. Uh, oh, damn, this is early in the morning. I'm trying to think, man. I feel like I'm forgetting something else. What the hell was it? Well, I've got the other four San Martin watches that we'll be reviewing later. Um, uh, you know, and then of course I will be doing the hard review on this one. Uh, it's not that it's going to be hard for me to do it. It's just, I am going to be hard on this watch. You know what I'm saying? Just because my logo is on there, it gets, it gets spared nothing. You know, not only that, but I, I've got to get all the little issues that, that are bugging me about it worked out with the guy before I do any kind of a bulk order uh, to sell. Because, you know, I got, you know, I got issues, control issues and whatnot. Like, I can't have stuff just roll out and be kind of, eh, it's got to be fucking right, you know. And if we can't get it right, then we're not going to do it. So, I really appreciate y'all watching, subscribing, checking out the channel. Uh, you know, if there's any watches you guys would like to suggest, please do so in the comments. Um, if anybody's interested in or likes that whoop ass Submariner, again, 
you know, let me know that you're interested in the comments or send me an email or something. Uh, you know, I want to give a few shout outs, uh, underachieving watch collector, um, again, my boy, Tom Bombardier, uh, Aussie wristwatch, timepieces with Tony, Joe Silva, um, Logan, Andrew, you guys both know who you are. I don't need to give you your last initials. Uh, I don't know who all else. Scatterbrain. Um, David, David with the, lo- uh, the Legos. Man, if y'all, don't, okay, and see, like, here, here's the thing. The reason why I do a lot of these shout outs and whatnot is because I get to see y'all's channels because I subscribe to everybody that I can see who has subscribed. Whether you got stuff or not, or whatever, just because, you know, I feel, A, one good turn deserves another. But, man, at the same time, you know, everybody deserves to have at least one or two subscribers or somebody that gives a shit about them. So, long story short, by me doing that, I have actually got to see and find all kinds of cool channels that are never in my friggin' feed. The YouTube algorithm likes to put the willy to all of us, okay? But especially anybody that has a willy. It seems like it really wants to put the screws to. So I I don't know why that is. It just is kind of screwed up. But I think as men, we need to stick together on this one. You know, and I mean, I'm not saying don't support the ladies channels. I'm just saying it seems like their shit gets put up and rolls way faster and easier than it does for any of us dudes. Uh, But at any rate, my, my point was that David does a bunch of Lego builds and stuff like that. And he's got all kinds of cool shit. And he's always wearing a nice ass watch while he's doing it, and he doesn't even talk about the damn watch. But like he he had a uh, the damn what was it the big the four legged uh, stormtrooper thing, um, the Imperial Walkers. Uh, he does a lot of you know he's doing a lot of Star Wars Lego builds and stuff right now. But like the A wing, the X wing, yeah, I mean just all kinds of cool shit, you know stuff that we kind of wish that we had the time to sit down and fiddle with or whatever. But you know. Uh, you get what I'm saying. It Legos isn't for everybody, but it's cool. And it's something that I would like to have seen. And I would have never seen it. Had I not met David through my channel and him subscribing to me, uh, subscribing to me, you, you know what I mean? I would have never got to see this stuff because it never, ever popped up in my, my feed. Uh, so, you know what I mean? And like when I go and I watch his videos, you know, he, he's getting views and he's got way more subscribers than I got. So it's not like he's hurting, but you get what I'm saying? You know, it, YouTube seems to like to keep people stuck at a certain level. So that way you don't have to pay for the ads that are running on your shit. You know, so I've also thought about switching over to Rumble. So I don't know if any of y'all would be interested in following me over there. If I did switch, I don't know. Y'all let me know about that in the comments too, because, um, you know, it's just, it, that platform will pay immediately. Like if you're getting, if ads and shit are getting put on your stuff and you're getting views, then you get paid. You don't have to do all this crazy stuff and jump through a bunch of, you know, insane hoops in, in order to just start getting some money. And then, then it's dictated to you, like how you can say this, what you can say, this and that. And I'm not really cool with all that. You know what I mean? Like I want to be able to say whatever I feel like saying. Uh, I don't feel like being dictated to, or, you know, blah, blah, blah. So not that they've done that to me yet, but, I could see where it might be coming. At any rate, we're rolling up on that 30 minute mark. I really only meant for this to be a 15 minute video. I wasn't trying to really do the rant thing here at the end, but it is what it is. So, you know, wrap this up. Very nice bracelet. Super comfortable. Very nice watch. Maybe you should have got it with the SW200, but we'll see in the long run. You know, like I said, yesterday, this thing was really, it was only running about minus eight seconds. But again, that was also wearing it all day at the shop and beating and banging and doing and blah, blah, blah. Um, you know, 
Actually, hang on a second. Let me just make sure I didn't magnetize this motherfucker somehow. Mm, okay. Well, in fairness, I need to demagnetize this thing. It looks like it looks like it's got a little bit of magnetization going on. So that may be why I was running negative twenty. But at any rate, thank y'all for watching. Like, subscribe. Check y'all later.